Welcome back. For our sixth and final custom data structure, let's take a look at graphs in JavaScript. A graph is a nonlinear data structure that consists of a finite number of vertices, also called nodes, connected by edges. You could say trees are a specific type of graph data structure. Here is a simple visualization of the graph data structure. The graph has a set of vertices represented as circles and a set of edges represented as lines. As opposed to a tree, which is generally represented or read top down, there is no hierarchy in graphs and there is no set way to represent or read a graph. Now, based on the characteristics of their edges, graphs can be categorized into two types, directed and undirected. A graph in which the edges have a direction is called a directed graph. Edges are usually represented by arrows pointing in the direction the graph can be traversed. In the example shown, we can traverse from A to B to C. We cannot traverse from C to B to A. In undirected graphs, edges are bidirectional. The graph can be traversed in either direction. The absence of an arrow tells us that the graph is undirected. In the example shown, we can traverse both from A to B to C and C to B to A. Hopefully, this is clear to you. Let me go over a few more visualizations to help you get an idea of what is possible with the graph data structure. A graph can have only vertices with no edges, multiple edges from one node, cycles in the graph, self loops on a node, may be disconnected, and finally, a graph may contain weights on edges representing the cost of traversing that edge. We will not be diving into implementing all of these variants but I want to make sure you are aware of the types of graphs one can construct. Graphs find usage in a number of real-world applications. Popular ones include Google Maps, where cities are represented as vertices, and roads as edges to help build a navigation system. In social media sites, users are considered as vertices, and edges are the links between connections. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn all use graph data structures to show mutual connections, post suggestions, and other recommendations. Before we implement the graph data structure though, we first need to understand how to represent a graph data structure in code. Let's do that in the next video.